coming up. By using short horns, those resulting steer progeny are extremely profitable. They're certainly built to perform. We already have data to prove that uh, you get an extra calf. They have to function on their own. They grow up on their mom and grass. They have to be able to travel and grow and really thrive in a low input environment. Discover the benefits of shorthorn cattle next on The American Rancher. the American Rancher featuring Shorthorn cattle. Shorthorns are the British breed crossbreeding solution for commercial cattlemen looking to add hybrid vigor to their cow herd without sacrificing maternal excellence or carcass cutability. The American Shorthorn Association slogan, Performance with Purpose, accurately describes the goals of shorthorn breeders across the country. I think performance with purpose is very fitting for ASA and for this breed because these cattle have been bred for generations with the main goal being to produce quality replacement females and produce those high quality productive cows that this commercial industry in this country needs and that's where this breed excels. They're certainly built to perform as a high quality replacement female. By using short horns those resulting steer progeny are extremely profitable. Uh, the short horn of, of the British breeds is the highest yielding, highest cutability breed. Um, they marble as high or better than any of the British breeds. And so they're, they're recouping a lot of dollars on the steer progeny when their goal was to generate uh, you know, useful females for their, for their environment. Their ability to, to you know, handle the stress and handle quietly and I think it's a pretty often overlooked component, something that the shorthorn breed does really well and, and is really an added benefit to, to you know, having shorthorn blood in a, in a cow, in your overall cow program. I think we've got a big kick. You just get that true heterosis when you put a shorthorn back on your other British breeds. And we already have data to prove that uh, you get an extra calf out of the lifetime of an Angus shorthorn cross and the lifetime of that re replacement female. So there's a lot of things that shorthorns can bring to the picture and, and really and truly there's a huge advantage today to a shorthorn bull in the pasture just because there haven't been enough of them in the pastures across America over the last 10 to 15 years. The goal of the American Shorthorn Association as far as commercial acceptance for the shorthorn breed is simply to increase the prevalence of shorthorn genetics in America's commercial cow herd, whether that's through the use of more shorthorn bulls or shorthorn influenced females across the country. For a shorthorn influenced cow in, in a commercial setting, uh, they, they have the maternal ability, the milking ability, they have the carcass grade ability and, and they have the conversion factor. Uh, they, they put it all in, in a pretty nice package. When we come back, we'll visit with some shorthorn breeders who are working towards breeding quality cattle for the commercial-minded operator. Stay with us. The American Shorthorn Association is America's oldest beef breed association. Shorthorn cattle have been documented to produce high quality carcasses that outyield other British breeds. The added docility and maternal advantage of shorthorns make them an outstanding choice to add heterosis to your commercial cattle operation. Shorthorns truly are a breed focused on performance with purpose. For more information, visit our newly renovated website at shorthorn.org or call 816-599-7777. Superior Livestock Auction connects producers to buyers across the U.S. through the largest cattle merchandising network in North America. They're seen by probably pretty much every 
person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much establish the price. Our customers have a way to purchase bulls without having to physically be at the sale. Because our sale is the second Saturday in February, you never know what the weather might be in the Texas Panhandle. In 2017, we sold nearly 1.5 million head for top dollar. When you watch a Superior sale, it seems like that they do bring a, bring a premium. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have Superior. They have done such an extraordinary job in helping us market our program throughout the United States. Your paycheck is Superior's number one priority, which is why more producers trust Superior. Call us or go online to learn how to sell your cattle the Superior way. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Shorthorn cattle are known for their strong maternal capabilities and are an asset to many commercial cattle operations. Let's meet some of the breeders who are striving to produce these shorthorns that provide performance with purpose. Located in central Kansas, DTR Cattle Company is a sixth generation family operation. Nancy Grathwall Heater, her husband Ryan, and their children Josie and Ryder focus their program on shorthorn and shorthorn composite cattle built to meet the needs of cattlemen both locally and nationally. We came out here in the late 1860s, early 1870s. They actually landed here because this is where the train tracks ended. This was the end of the line. They came out from Kentucky. There was three families. They each had a rail car. That's how they got out here. Uh, so we actually still own the homestead corner that we settled on out here. And actually where we're standing, we've owned this piece of ground for, I think somewhere around 75 years now. So we're, my kids would be the sixth generation on my side of the family to be involved in agriculture in this part of the world. When my dad was 12 in 1959, he bought his first shorthorn heifer from Don and Pat Stout as a 4-H project. And so from there, you know, that really developed his interest in shorthorns. And in 1978, he started Deer Trail Ranch, which was located at Powhatan, Kansas. In 1979, he had his first annual production sale. My husband Ryan and I have been growing our herd over the last few years, and now we've involved our children. We started DTR Cattle Company in 2003, and this is kind of gets you to where we are today. I'm just very thankful and feel very blessed that I'm able to raise my children in the same environment, and they kind of have gotten to participate in the same experiences that I have as a child. And so I hope that they really value that where they haven't got to meet, you know, my dad or my uncle um, and just really remember their roots and, you know, why this is so important to us. At DTR Cattle Company, the focus is on the female with emphasis on some of the great deer trail cow families. Cattle have to be able to withstand the conditions and produce in order to remain in the DTR herd. In our operation, we want really functional females. They have to be able to travel and grow and really thrive in a low input environment. A lot of years we don't get a lot of rain and we don't really put any extra feed into our cattle. One of our major emphasis here is we're really trying hard to keep a lot of the cow families that Nancy's dad and grandfather started, keep them alive. We've purchased some of those genetics. We've tried to keep them going here. When we're trying to pick the genetics that will meet some of our customers' goals, we try to look at birth weight, performance, really a balance of traits, keeping carcass quality in mind. Even though we enjoy showing cattle, we don't necessarily raise show cattle. We have to use genetics that really fit our environment, but we keep phenotype in mind and we're very picky on structure. And so a lot of our customers have come from when we are at a cattle show, you know, maybe they like some of the genetics they see when we are showing and that's brought us new business. We flush a few cows around here. They kind of have to earn their way into the donor program or be something interesting pedigree wise or special from a show ring standpoint or make their way to the donor pen here in the pasture. Leveldale Farms in Mason City, Illinois has been raising quality shorthorn cattle since the early 1900s. 
known throughout the business as the headquarters for herd bulls, Leveldale focuses on raising practical cattle that generate profit for both their registered and commercial customers. For six decades, my family showed coast to coast nine months out of the year. We had a boxcar here that was built out and a team that was rolling, starting at the Illinois State Fair and hitting every state fair in the Midwest, then going Baltimore, Harrisburg, Timonium, back to the American Royal in Kansas City. Uh, Denver, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, the hit Phoenix, the Cow Palace in San Francisco and in Oregon. But we've always had shorthorns, not always being promoted and not always as the only breed, but uh, primarily focused in the shorthorn business since the late 19 teens, early 20s, when my grandfather and his brother uh, came back together to farm. His brother, a veterinarian, and my grandfather, after managing one of the largest farming operations in Illinois, uh, they had finished the University of Illinois in 1913, and then his brother, vet school, and they came back and farmed and started exhibiting and promoting shorthorn cattle in a big way starting in the 1920s. Particularly what we focus on at Leveldale, uh, we have a lot of emphasis on controlling birth weight and calving ease, but without trying to sacrifice growth or any uh, carcass characteristics. And uh, we have very strict guidelines we go by that if we have assisted births for calves outside of abnormal presentations, uh, they are typically called, or if they're a bull calf, they will uh, definitely be castrated. That they are, you know, low maintenance type of cattle that they have to function on their own or we, we don't really tolerate it and we call any, any offspring or uh, older cattle that may develop foot problems, udder problems, any disposition issues. Uh, we don't give them any second chances. It's they have to function or uh, we move on. They're expected to perform out here on pasture, have their own calf and breed right back without any assistance. We don't trim any feet. We don't do anything special to them. They grow up on their mom and grass. And after weaning, our bulls are fed additional nutrition, but high fiber in order to assess best their growth abilities and to uh, collect the data that we collect on all of our animals and have for many decades, including ultrasound data for over 25 years. Their dedication to using performance data to improve their shorthorn genetics led Leveldale Farms to earn the moniker the headquarters for herd bulls since the early 1950s. They host a private treaty bull sale each March, selling bulls to both purebred and commercial producers. Leveldale exhibited the grand champion pen of five bulls at the National Western Stock Show in both 2017 and 2018, which is a testament to the quality that the operation is known for. We do a combined live sale and an online video sale for our production sale. If you're in the stalker business, you know exceptional care and good nutrition are the keys to healthy, profitable cattle. The Gain Smart Stalker program provides all the tools you need to minimize stress at receiving, stimulate appetite quickly, and create efficient gains on forage or feed. Plus, feeding Gain Smart makes your cattle eligible for Superior's first ever value added nutrition program. Learn more about the Gain Smart Stalker program and find a dealer near you at gainsmart.com. We want a trust relationship with our customers. We want them to know that we care about them, that our products work, and we'll stand behind them. To come back and purchase, to bid and buy their customers' cattle, they're very, very dedicated to a customer's product, and I think that creates a lot of longevity. 98, that's 63,000, thank you. Superior Livestock Auction connects producers to buyers across the U.S. through the largest cattle merchandising network in North America. They're seen by probably pretty much every person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much establish the price. Our customers have a way to purchase bulls without having to physically be at the sale. 
Because our sale is the second Saturday in February, you never know what the weather might be in the Texas Panhandle. In 2017, we sold nearly 1.5 million head for top dollar. When you watch the Spirier sale, it seems like that they do bring a, bring a premium. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have Superior. They have done such an extraordinary job in helping us market our program throughout the United States. Your paycheck is Superior's number one priority, which is why more producers trust Superior. Call us or go online to learn how to sell your cattle the Superior way. Welcome back to the American Rancher featuring shorthorn cattle. The American Shorthorn Association is working to help their breeders meet the demands of a constantly evolving industry. ASA supports industry leading programs and embraces state of the art technologies. For example, ASA is a member of International Genetic Solutions. IGS is a multi breed genetic collaboration of 11 breed associations across North America. IGS produces the largest multi-breed single-step EPD calculation in the industry, powered by the new Bolt software, giving producers a powerful tool for making genetic decisions. Being a part of the multi-breed genetic evaluation with IGS gives us more power with a larger data set behind us to create better selection tools for our breeders and as well for their customers. And I think with the transition to the single step method of EPD calculation will be able to provide even stronger genetics. And instead of having to learn several different EPD bases and scales, being able to look across the table and say shorthorn cattle are on the same basis as these other cattle that I'm using in my program just makes it easier as a selection tool for not only for our breeders but for their customers. The American Shorthorn Association has a Shorthorn Plus program, which is basically a composite that uh, adds hybrid vigor to the offspring. So, so now you've got two registered animals from two different breeds that we can mate, get true heterosis, and have a performance data behind them. So we got plus performance, plus longevity, plus fertility, and if you make that other breed a, a British animal, you've got a plus for a British composite that you can't get any other way. I think the shorthorn breed definitely has a future in the American commercial cattle industry as the British crossbreeding solution. The American cow herd has a lot of black hided and a lot of white faced cattle that could benefit from bringing in another British breed to add an extra kick from heterosis and hybrid vigor on their feeder calves that help maintain the carcass quality as we take those calves through the feedlot and we wouldn't have to sacrifice any of the maternal qualities that we expect out of our British influence cattle. And right now we are in the middle of a uh, test with the University of Illinois where, we'll, where we bred 300 cows to have shorthorn calves and those calves will have all their data collected including uh, uh, carcass data and feed conversion. So we'll have all this information to take forward to, to put into share with the industry of how shorthorn cattle can really compete within the industry. Cattle are bred, born, weaned, fed, yearling weight, ultrasounded, and they will actually be harvested. So we've taken it from conception all the way through to consumption. In our first round of calves with the University of Illinois Sire Test, we had 151 calves born. And what was remarkable that out of their Sim Angus cows, all of these calves were born unassisted. We had an 86 pound average birth weight for the group. One of the exciting points of the Sire Test was at weaning they collected docility scores on these calves. And the average over the 150 calves was a 1.3. And on the docility scale, one is extremely docile. So to have that many calves and have that low of an average score just really shows the, the ability of shorthorn cattle to handle easily and work well in, the, in a program. This August, we're planning to host a field day with the University of Illinois at their university farm and showcase these sire test calves on feed there in the feedlot. They'll be on a grow safe system. Give us the opportunity to 
let our breeders see what we're doing and also let other interested cattlemen come in and see what shorthorn cattle can or shorthorn influence can do in a cow herd. Up next, shorthorns make strong impressions at the National Western Stock Show right after this. So the cattle business is a wonderful business to be in. I mean, we're just very fortunate, but you know, besides trying to make the best cattle you can and, and making the genetics as good as you can, you know, one of the great things is you get to deal with people in my mind. And I really enjoy dealing with both new customers and current customers. And uh, you know, it's just great to be able to deal with them on a daily basis and, and find out how our genetics are working for them. And, as long as the commercial ranchers are, are looking for DeBrucker Charlet genetics, we want to do what we can to supply them. Join DeBrucker Charlet Saturday, April 7th for their annual bull sale. In 1994, Superior Livestock Auction introduced nationally recognized value-added programs to the American beef industry. Now, cattle sold on Superior Livestock video auctions get top dollar when a program is behind them. The USDA-approved third-party audited Superior Verified Program verifies source and age of your calves. Superior Progressive Genetics identifies load lots of cattle sold on Superior that are sired by top genetics. NHTC verifies the source, age, and non-hormone treatment status of your calves. These and other Superior value-added programs are just another way that Superior Livestock is improving the beef industry and bringing more dollars to your bottom line. Individual programs start at just $1.22 per hundred weight. So you can't make any money any faster than investing $3 and getting $40, $60, $70 back. Call or go online to find out more about Superior Livestock's value-added programs. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Each year, shorthorn breeders make the trip to the pen show at the National Western Stock Show in the world-famous Denver Stockyards. The pen show displays some of the best available genetics to both registered and commercial cattlemen. The shorthorn pen show this last year was one that I think goes down in the history books as one of the highest quality shows we've ever seen. Our judge was extremely complimentary about it. The cattle were so even, there just weren't any bulls in there that you just wouldn't think would go out in the world and make a contribution to the cattle industry. These are cattle that are functional, they got their birth weights under control, there's enough growth in them. These cattle just got some meat, some muscle, and, and they just work really well. I think the quality of cattle we had in our pen show in Denver at the National Western was one of the highest quality pen shows a shorthorn breed has ever had. Uh, lots of breeders were very complimentary and excited about the direction that the cattle in the yards have gone in the last few years. And what was most impressive is that the cattle exhibited in the yards had not only the the look and the phenotype that a commercial cattleman is looking for, but also the data behind them to support and to prove that these cattle are, can be commercially viable and generate profit for a commercial cattleman who chooses to use them in his operation. I've been really proud to watch this pen show emerge over the last few years as these breeders have done a great job making these cattle better every year there just aren't any bad ones there, and, and the quality is, is extremely deep. Any of these pens could win at any time, just depends on the judge. Moving forward, the American Shorthorn Association and shorthorn breeders are serious about making an impact on the commercial cattle industry in the United States. The breed is aggressively working to find new outlets to showcase the value of shorthorn genetics while diligently aiming to breed commercially acceptable cattle that exemplify the performance with purpose mission. To find out more, visit shorthorn.org. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For the entire American Rancher team, 
Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. The board has, has changed, shifted their focus in the last six or eight years to, to more commercially oriented uh, uh, venue where we're, we're going after and trying to, trying to promote the shorthorn cattle in the, into the commercial industry. Through research, technology, and testing that our membership and breeders are dedicated to, we feel that these cattle will make that extra profit. And we have so many things ahead of us that uh, we re really have a bright future. We have a limited budget, but we're trying to do everything we can to let the people know out there that we are for real and that uh, we can compete with any of the other breeds. Through developing a feed efficiency test or finding new ways to market feeder cattle or embracing any new technology that might come our way in the future, I think you'll always see that the American Shorthorn Association is going to try to stay out front with the industry and do everything we can to keep moving shorthorn cattle forward. Superior.